Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So I think I'm gonna do re-recordings of Trails in Time second chapter battles and I'm going to start with the very first battle of the event. I'm just gonna skip the storyline this time around because you know you can always refer to the older videos for the plot. You know, I just want to get the battle done as fast as I can. So this battle has you with six characters, Estelle, Joshua, Chloe, Matthew, Grenier, and Almeda. And you're facing off against a whole bunch of demons. The goal here is defeat all enemies, and defeat condition is all your units are defeated, or the enemy's special demon controls the airship. So you can't let the special demons get onto that, the green tiles, in other words. Not really sure which one are the special demons, but let's just begin. I have no real recollection of this event at all. Honestly speaking, it's been too long. So... Target. Well, what I'm going to do is let's run Danger Zone first. I'm going to actually put Matthew in range of these uh, Cyclops because he has no buffs on him in the first place. And then other than that, I think it's better to just head towards the end point in general with everyone. So I'm not even going to activate any Thing. Just simply moving up. Although I could place Grenier against these Stone Colossi. You know, what? let's do that. So I'm gonna move all Meta and Grenier against the Stone Colossi in the south and use the other characters. Matthew, very easily one shots. The Cyclops that attacks him. Next, then, I'm going to have Grenier power stab here. And I'm gonna move all meta last. So for now, let's have Matthew attack and retreat. Hold on. Let's whirlwind staff. Like so. And then have double tap from Joshua to wipe out. Cyclops, or nearly wipe out the Cyclops. Okay, there we go. Down it goes. Okay, so then two new enemies spawn. A succubus and a vampire. And they have skills and normal attack range increased by two. For both of them. So what I'm going to do then is first I'm just going to have Aurora Ring be used here. Because I know I'm going to get hit by Meteor. Pretty sure. So in the south, Almeda can jump in and range attack the Hellhound. I suppose. Then debuff the enemies. So with this setup, Estelle should be the only one that gets attacked by all of these enemies. So that Estelle wipes out all three cavalry in the north. Grenier should be able to take out the Sovereign group too, especially with all meta to support. Looking good. So let's finish them off in the south. Uh, yeah, let's start with the northern group. Oh, they didn't hit me. I activated Aurora Ring too early. Okay, well, let's... Oh, crap! <laughs> Misclick! So I used Sky and Staff against nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Hellhound is killed. Let's start moving forward, although 
And just end turn there. So and then Grenier can help finish off the Stone Colossa in the south, spawning some more enemies in the southern group. Kind of annoying. What can you do? So somehow, Joshua was immune to sleep effect. I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. And all my my whole party got silenced, including Chloe, so she can't dispel. Oh well. So let's in, let's just charge him and attack. So Matthew, Lee Strike, such a bit style. Couldn't have Joshua trade range attacks against this vampire and one shot it. And everyone else is just gonna move up. The self, Grinier, is screwed. Should be okay though. Hopefully. Let's have Grimmy on melee attack. And then follow up with all meta. Range attack. To finish off the first enemy. And let's move Matthew over. Right. I have a feeling I can auto battle from here. I really have a feeling I can auto battle from here. But whatever. Let's just heal him here. And have Grenier. Melee attack. The second step back. I'm going to move these characters over. To make sure they're heading towards those demons. Keeps getting hit. Has tons of debuffs on him as a side note. Armor corrosions. But he can power stab for the finish. And I'm just gonna turn on auto battle now. There we go. Pretty straightforward battle. I like to think my strategy has improved. You know, that there's been improvement in my battle plannings in over the past year but there we are all the enemies killed and the very first plot battle has been cleared which will open up the event for me gives 30 trinity crystals as a reward I'm going to skip the storyline 
and two locations opened. Both locations have the three gear battle available, the level 35 gear. And other than that, in the exchange rewards section, we'll see. Have a so, Olivier shards will be important to grab. A lot of things to grab, but until the battles actually unlock, right? Uh, the level 55 battles unlock, there's no real point in doing these maps yet. You know, you'll clear each one once because of the Trinity Crystal reward, but you're going to wait till the level 55 battles to actually clear the event. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.